How's it going guys? In today's video, we're taking a look at this do-it-yourself rubber band gun power shot. Uh, it's got some details on here, the size, once assembled, eight rubber bands, max range six meters. So this is actually a kit you have to build, uh, which is pretty cool. And on the back here, you've got all the instructions. And the box, of course, is made out of cardboard. So let's have a look at the back. Separate the parts on the bottom board using a finger, then fix them to the respective positions in the order as pictures indicate. Sandpaper stick is for rubbing off the small pricks on the wood to get better fitting. So that's like if there's any uh, splintered pieces or rough edges, you can just sand it out. All right, let's open it up. What do we have here? We have the rubber bands and some bolts. I think you call them bolts. They're not screws, screws, bolts. Some nuts, trigger in there. All right, then we have, oh, down here, a little file, which is for sanding any rough pieces. So you can see there, that's the sand, sandpaper tool. And here is basically the gun. So let's get into it. All right, so, oh, this is pretty cool. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, it just comes straight out. Maybe, maybe we can do it without the instructions, I don't know. We'll, we'll, let's see what happens. So there are basically four slabs. One, one, two, three, and then the fourth one, just here. Well, these are probably laser cut, I'd imagine. Just give you an example, there's a rough bit there, which uh, you'd wanna sand down. Okay, let's see what components we have here. This looks like the uh, the handle. All right, that's the first step. I think was to put that through that through here. All right, guys, this is taking me quite some time. I'm already ten minutes in. Probably gonna run out of space on my camera, so I'm gonna just uh, turn that off and then come back once uh, it's completed. Alrighty, guys, I've just finished assembling the rubber band gun. So uh, here's a look over it, and it is quite solid because uh, it has quite a few layers, as you can see there. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight layers so uh, it's it's really sturdy um, once once you clip all those pieces of wood together it's uh, yeah it comes together as a very sturdy piece uh, now it does actually include a second I guess you'd call that a wheel second uh, loading wheel for it which is pretty cool see I was trying to put both on but I couldn't understand why it wasn't working and that's because you're only meant to put one on uh, you can't fit two on uh, it just doesn't work. One wheel, not not two. So you've got to spare one of those. Uh, it's a pretty snazzy looking rubber band gun. In fact, the the coolest wooden hand uh, rubber band gun I've ever seen. So uh, pretty nice. It's your side. You can choose which side you want to put the bolts on. I've got the bolts coming out this side and the nuts on this side. Uh, there's that one piece which is slightly different. And uh, that's what the wheel sits on. That's nice and smooth. Uh, you can see in there so pretty groovy loading it's pretty cool it's a little tricky because uh, you've got the front notch here hook it on like that pull it back as you can see it hooks over that bolt just there two okay there four of them loaded up so if you just pull that back it locks and then you can put another one on and you've got quite a few rubber bands with the pack as well so it's good they include lots of spares all right let's shoot something
Okay, here we go. Oh, boom, all three. This is a really nice trigger pull as well, and the trigger design, I like. See how the trigger's it's like hidden in there as well? It's a very clean firing action. Let's get a side on. Pretty neat. Alrighty guys, well that's my review of the wooden do-it-yourself rubber band gun. This was a very fun project, it reminded me a lot about when I was younger playing with Lego. Uh, it was a lot of fun um, building this. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll post a link to this item in the description. And we'll catch you in the next video.